And here's a look at the starting 11 for Villarreal. Well, a 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and, of course, the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. Well, we referenced it earlier, but with this being the last game in the group stage, there's still much to play for, particularly for the travelling fans who'll be hoping their side can secure a top spot tonight. Yeah, they've played well so far, and a win today means they top the group, no matter what happens in the other game. It has to be! Still not clear. Couldn't grab hold of it. When you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Keeper committed himself. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, really good header. But the goalkeeper there to cover up. Not increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. And tipping it over the crossbar. Well, another corner hot on the heels of the last one. Over it comes. Not away completely. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. Let's see about the delivery. Well, really stark defending there. Off the line. Big chance to get them on terms. And a goal to level this contest. Oh! Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. An incisive pass. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. They need to get bodies back. Can he do it? And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. But you do have to ask questions of the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't be beaten at your near post like that. They just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle. Can he finish? Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. 
Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Etienne Capou. Happy to take on the shot. Just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. And so the final whistle here. And in football, it's often a story of pluses and minuses. On the plus side, they will be taking part in the knockout stages. But the minus is they've only finished second in the group. Well, that's disappointing for them. Their aim was to top the group coming into this one, but they'll just have to hope for a favourable draw. Well, he put in a really thorough performance here, Stuart. Yeah, he played well, didn't he? So clinical in front of goal, but you have to feel for him. We didn't quite get the same quality from his teammates today, particularly at the back.